Hi there. Minty Jones Gaming. Today is an exciting day. I've got to get this down today before things change. T today I hit 100 subscribers. Thank you. Um, what better way to celebrate this enormous amount of subscriptions and whatever small percentage of my subscribers actually um, endeavor to regularly watch my irregular videos than to start a new series which I'll never be able to keep up with because we know all we all know how ludicrously um, useless I am at uh, regularly putting out videos at any kind of schedule but I'm sure you're all used to that now the small percentage of you that, that do stick with me um, but whilst I'm here let us thank a few people shall we shall we thank a few people Let's do it. I think we shall. So, I'd like to thank, and this is not all 100 of you, this is just a list from my subscribers and, and YouTube. I know some of you are keeping your information private. Good on you. Hide from hide from the masses. Not like me. Anyway, I would like to say a thank you to The Almond, King William, Anton Richter, Critty Potato, Richard Epley, Miss Wood, Steve Bruce, Robert McGregor, Robert McGregor, Nick Tarax, Cthulhu, Griffin Squadron, Dr. Spider-Man, Nathan Chadbolt, Octopool, Zyla, Tarrant, Sartook, Carter, Cody Wraith, Paul Strutt, Slain a lot, Bob? Bob? Tim C104, Mirlyup, Even Knox, Sigmaniac, One Defender, Chalk70, Dave Hagerich, Law W, D Lock, Calvin Two Hobbs Channel, Nemesis, Michael Potter, Bernie Bear, Josh103456, Drills007, Was That Me, Stagal, Ephraim Brown, Vasco Fell, Bell, Sword, Lord Tag D, Edo, E Techers, Christopher266, Donald Zero, Double ATV Games, Bob Fleming, Jasmine Hayford, Daryl Holland, Alexis Nicholas, D Smith, 1900, Lord Wiseman, The Nid, Carl Southam, my teddy bear, Tinian, Dustin H, Warnock, Welcome, Fortune of Legends, Lakar, Three Movers, Down, Killer Clan, Me, Peter, Brian Wilson, Potters, Marauders, Up to No Good, Shane Grimes, Bruce Eyes, Shane Herbert, DJP, Mobster, Kalyanka, Nordic Beast, Alfred Style, Bargain, Nick, Sparks and Gaming, Fail and Leon, Mystics, Aliens and Toast, I've got to press the button. The Potato One, Gyro Not, Anubis Ra, Malkins, Hutton, Coot, Sealy, Adam Mason, Operation 7 Pro, George Boris, 1072, Lucas Larson, Tex Fire, and Johan Nick Nude! Da da Sorry if I mispronounced your name, or if you couldn't hear me, or if I was speaking too fast, or I didn't mention you, or I mentioned someone that doesn't exist. This is the way it goes in these kind of thank you things. This will probably be the first and the last time that I ever do a thank you for um, any amount of subscribers. This is, there's a limited amount of reading there. Anyway, thank you for subscribing. Very kind of you. I'm very grateful I am in this world of YouTubers. So, what's the next um, milestone? 101? Or, you know, the next the next century? And uh, then 500, then 1,000? 10,000? 100,000, 1 million? 2 million? 5 million, 10 million, 100 million? 1 billion? 1,000 billion? 1 trillion? And then what? I'll be rich after that. Well, he's hoping. Anyway, so I'm playing a new game. Yep. I'm playing a new game, and it's called The Long Dark, a game I have uh, had in my library for quite a while. I've played a fair bit of it. It's still in early access because we don't actually play games anymore that are completed, strangely enough. We like testing people's games for them. The Long Dark's a beautiful game set in Canada. It's a survival game, survival sandbox game with a, a hint of a snifter of crafting, um, lots of survival. Uh, ultra realistic, although the graphics aren't. They're a little bit abstract, which is nice. It's got a real nice feel to it. Beautiful colors. Um, but apart from that, the the, the um, mechanics of the game are pretty damn realistic. It's a hard game. Um, well, you can make it hard for yourself. You can make it easy as well. I've been playing recently on a harder setting. Um, seeing how long I can survive, which isn't too long yet. So don't expect this, this series isn't going to go from, you know... 50 episodes of me surviving in, in one go, which is nonsense. It'll be many different um, survivals and deaths and survivals and deaths and more deaths. And, and it's about survival in Canada. It's be right up your street. And nobody's in Spider Man. Where'd my hat go? Shit. Hat thief. <sighs> so, let's just get into the long dark. Sandbox. New sandbox. Do it. 
I'm choosing the stalker experience because I like to be a stalker. No, it's not me stalking. It's them stalking. Maybe I'm stalking my stalkers. Anyway, it's a hard. It's hard. Desolation point is where I'm starting for intermediate players. All right. Um. So I'm going to be a lady. I've been playing a lady. A lady. So this is essentially, as I say, it's got a touch of crafting, but you can't craft things like shelters and stuff like that like you can in the forest. Um, you've got to find there's key places that you need to get to in the game. Um, and it's all about managing your um, uh, your supplies, essentially. And staying alive in the disgustingly frigid um, weather conditions. So you can see here, I've been dropped straight. It's a nice day though, quite nice day. Let's check our, let's check our equipment and see what we've got. 12 matches, what's that, socks. You've got a couple of tinder plugs for starting fires, a flare, one bandage. What's that, antibiotic, a bottle of antibiotics, six pills. Hmm. That's not bad. My bedroll and my clothes. And behind me is an abandoned mine. I'm gonna go straight in here because I know there's some stuff in here. Um, Oops, what's that? What's going on there? I don't know. I don't know what's happening when I look at that. Oh, that's bizarre. Metal shelf's not rendered in very well. I'll take the flare. Metal shelf. Whoa, I must be looking very closely at that metal shelf. What's in here? Coal. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. I'm not going to... Or will I break down this? Let's break this down. And the, the interesting thing about this game is you can dismantle things. Uh, which, and they'll give you... Um, more coal. They'll give you... Oh, Jesus Christ. What's going on with that? My eyesight. I've gone mountain blind. Oh, this is shells. Oh, dear. Don't know what's happened to the rendering. Haven't seen that before. Interesting. It is an alpha. Keep that in mind. Okay. Sticks. Fuel. We just need a lot of fuel. Um, here we can see that there's my warmth, how well rested I am, how uh, my hydration is going, and how uh, my hunger is. It tells you my calorie store, uh, what kind of temperature it feels like. Break this down. Break it down. So you can see my body temperature just flying down there as I stand here in the freezing cold. Feels like minus 12. Anyway, it's alright, there's a few sticks around. Some of the sticks are just lying there, and some of the branches are bigger and you've got to break them down. Um, it's not a never-ending supply. So we've got, we've got to be careful, but let's get as much as we can before we find out what else is out there. It's a beautiful looking game, the lighting is fantastic. It's been in development for quite a while. A lot's changed, especially in the, the user interface. I've found it's become much easier. Still things, well, I don't know, there might be mechanics that are, um, have been done on purpose in the game. But some of the things I have issues with, we'll get to them. So, where am I? I'm in a freezing place. It's freezing, look at it. It's a bit foggy as well, so I can't see very far. And night time is a nightmare. It gets very dark if you don't be careful. You put roll cloth. Just take anything I can. I'll take that. I'll take that. That was quite a good stash in that first aid kit. I'm chilled. Listen to me. About d d d hours of daylight left. No one knows. I can open the hood up. What's going on in the hood? Why do I want to look under the hood? Nothing here to look at. I'm not going to attach something to the battery. I don't know. Let's go in the car. So, 100 subscribers, hey? Oh, nice one, extra flare. Um, that's... Another, it's peanuts compared to a lot of people, but... It's, you know, it's a milestone. It's every, you know, baby steps, as we say. Um, I released my first video on Minty Jones Gaming on March the 23rd last year. So I've been going for approximately a, month, uh, a year and two months. Which is more than I thought. I've found Hibernia processing. So actually I've, I've found this many times before. It's a whale processing plant. It's Canada. Very famous for processing whales. 
Anything in here? Oh. Yep, Stacy's grape soda. Uh, oh, some newsprint roll. And there's no back seats in this car, so out we go. Yeah, so there's there's some good good pickings around here, but watch out. There's also some wolves, and they're ultra aggressive. Oh, 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 where are they? I'm not even turning around. I don't want to turn around. Now you can. Oh, don't do this to me. I'm going to have to, I think, log out and come back into the game at this rate because I can't see a goddamn thing. What happens if I light a match? Oh, I just get fucking. Yeah, you've got some kind of Arctic blindness. Your vision is, is supremely impaired. Uh, I'm going to come. I'm going to go out and I'll come back in. And it will be like I've never gone anywhere. See, told you. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's been fixed miraculously by that restart. Although the metal shelf is flickering in and out of existence. I don't like that. Hmm. Interesting. Something up. Something definitely up. Oh fuck. Not quite as bad as the last time, but still not brilliant. I'm gonna take this yep. Yeah, I forgive it because it is early access. So, as I was saying, March the 23rd last year was the first ever video I put up. It was a very small series of the forest, it only lasted three episodes, which is to be expected from me. I suppose, you know, I had to start how I was going to continue. Oh god, what's going on with this game? Um, and then after that, you may have... You know, some of my latest subscribers may have trolled backwards um, to my earlier videos and noticed my Rage Quitter series, which is a little bit longer. And that's exactly what it was. I played Rage Quit games. This dog. Shit, this dog over there. Run. Run. Just run away. It's not worth. I don't like this. Which direction is it? Sounds right fucking near me. Just get in here. I, I'm not that happy being here because it's pitch dark. I'll have some of that reclaimed wood though. But something tells me whatever's up with the game is going to make my time in here hard. Dog, are you here? I really want to go around here. I'm shit scared. This is usually where the dogs are roaming. I want to get across. There's some cabins over there and some stuff under the stairs over here. I really don't want a dog to come up on me though. Yep, chop. Gonna be nothing in here, isn't there? Fuck, a waste of time. Anyway, I. There's a rifle round. Which is a bit of a waste of time because I've never found a rifle in this game yet. Well, certainly not in this level. As I was saying earlier, so YouTube. Um, March 23rd started Forest and my Rage Quitter series, which was quite profane. Um, a lot of swearing. I think each one got steadily more sweary as it went along. Um, oh, fuck. Don't do this to me. Oh, that's bullshit. That's some kind of bullshit right there. Hmm. Really strange. Let's just light a match. Ooh, gotta hold this down and light it. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good. I'm going to have to look this up. Really, really annoying. Empty. Useless. I'm going to get past here and my match won't run out. Can't see down there anyway. Can't see fuck all. I think I'm blind. I didn't realise there was a blind character in this game. Hi there, I'm back. Yes, I'm back. And I've fixed what the problem was. Guess what the problem was? Very quickly, it was DX3. Um, and it was... I'm still recording with DX3 now. You'll see that we're not getting any glitches whatsoever. I found a YouTube video on it. Uh, Stapley Online. 
and uh, dreaded Elijah had the solution, and that was to turn off all the overlay of your video FPS, uh, recording frame rate, all the rest of it, type, video time. Just any DX3 overlays, turn them off, and suddenly game's working fine. So, back into it. Pair of mittens, that's what we want. Let's go and stick them on because it's bloody cold in this place. It says my clothing wind chill bonus goes down by five degrees centigrade. Is that centigrade or Celsius? I can never remember. But if you look at the bottom left hand corner, nothing goes down, nothing goes up right either. Go figure. Um, I think I've found basically everything that needs to be found here. I'm sure there was a plastic container down here. No. Uh, I can't see anything down there. Oh, maybe stand up. Uh, do you know what I really need? There's, there's a lantern somewhere. That's what I really, really need. Leave trailer. Shelf crate. Break down the crate. Let's break it down. Four hours of daylight left. How much reclaimed wood did I get from that? How many matches have I got left? <coughs> Eleven? Oh, I can I can afford to light another match. Ooh. Lantern fuel. Yeah, but no okay. no lantern to go with it. Book. Yeah. A whetstone. Anything else down here? Ah. Burnt my fingies. I've got to be very careful with a down vest. That's that's mine. Let's go and get to the back up here before the light runs out. Anything of interest? Yeah, lantern fuel again. I really could do with finding a lantern in that case. There was newspaper lying on the floor and stuff. There's a, there's a locker here. Anything? No, empty. Broken metal door. Not gonna help anyone. Alright. Four hours of daylight left. I need to get out of here. Nothing. Pillows, old bed rolls. Well, let's take that down vest actually and put that on as well. Get a bit of a bonus and it's 95%. Where? Oh beautiful. So it doesn't really help me against the wind chill. So let's get out into the wind and get chilly. How warm am I? I'm numb. It's not good. Feels like minus 10. Okay, let's just quickly... Yeah, I've had a look there. Oh, sure, I'm getting cold. Yeah, sure am. Anything out here? Oh, let's just... Get off of here. Anything in here? Yeah, backpack. Come on. Oh, what's that? Beef jerky. Nice. Come on. Something in the backpack? Oh, hate it when you find an empty backpack. So, I was talking about um, my history with the uh, YouTubing and etc etc and yeah we talked about the Rage Quit series, talked about the Forest series, I eventually ended up doing um, Space Engineer solo series of course I'm never very good at keeping things going but um, it was around about May, it was probably around about this time last year that I came in contact with oh, oh shit that's a bear Fuck. I didn't come in contact with the bear this time. What's that? So this stuff. Like barrels. No, it's just barrels. I want to get up into that ship, but that bear's right there. I die. I don't want to yeah, you'll be fine. You're freezing. I know. Where's this bear? Still walking towards me. Anyway. So. 
played Space Engineers and I watched a few YouTubers that played Space Engineers and one of them was uh, Boris Provisham. Boris Provisham. Is the bear gone? And I enjoyed his videos. He had a few solo videos. Everyone will know his... That's exactly where I need to go to get onto this. What's he eating? Looks like he's stuck. He's not stuck. He's not stuck. He's angry. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Alive? You are, f you are kidding me! Oh Jesus Christ! Look at all the blood. That is not good. I can treat these wounds though. My mittens are worn out. Oh, thanks. So treat wounds with the bandage. Treat the bear bite with that and that. And that's pretty good. Right, I'm done at eight percent. I've got enough stamina to run. This might be the end. Oh, shut up. Why are you so pessimistic about living just after being, you know, you just survived a bear attack. It's quite impressive. How do I get up? I need to get... Just, I just need to find a lantern. I can't even see properly. But I'm on the, the Riken. So this is, this is called the Riken. 6%. So I'm not looking too brilliant. I'm not looking too hot. Door. Let's get in here. Feels like mine's four in here. It's not brilliant. Right, what can I see? Apart from nothing. Because because my sight keeps fading in and out. Am I sideways? Let's just light this flare. I mean I'm gonna die. I can't even stand up straight. Is there anything to even look at here? Three. Open your eyes. The stuff. The, oh, there's a dead body. Painkillers. Is that going to help me at all? Searching? Anything? It's not looking too crash hot, everybody. There's a bed. Rest. What? I didn't die. I'm back up to 4%. Rest again. Faded into the long dark. Well, that was inevitable. There's a snippet of the long dark for you. You can see all my stats here. It's all very interesting with numbers and symbols and stuff like that. Um, and I can even write into the diary myself, write my own text. I forgot about that, but I wasn't prepared yet. Yeah, we never got very far. That bear took us down. Lethal. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, and again, this was uh, all brought about um, by the fact that I got 100 subscribers. Uh, I was uh, uh, when when this game was failing before with the graphical glitches and whatnot. I was about to just record me in a webcam saying "fuck you all" hundred subscribers. I can't even record this game that I want to for this episode, so you'll get nothing apart from this. Thank you. Goodbye. Luckily, the game worked, and you got a bit more. So, 
I'll be back because I'm enjoying this game um, and uh, I'll be presenting more of it to you. Hopefully we'll, we'll survive through the night this time. That'd be nice. Anyway, it's been Mitty Jones. I'll see you next time.